Thread and Thimble. My name's Tracy. And I am Samantha. And we're going to do a review of the Bell Bottoms. Bell Bottoms. Bailey Bell Bottoms by Brittany Reaney. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Free pattern. Made for mermaids. Um, this pattern was free online. I found it through Pinterest. And I made it for a client of mine. I actually made leopard printed ones, ironically. Um, she was super tall and, and skinny. skinny. So she couldn't find anything that fit her. And I liked this pattern a lot because it, it lets you change and grade everything um, and kind of draft your own to your size. So that was really helpful with this person. That I was and I like it that it has different, you can do different ones. You don't have to do the dramatically flared yeah. one. You can do the, the thinner the one or the really bell bottom ones. I would do a slim one if I'm making them. Um, but most people really like the medium bell bottom ones. Um, Samantha wears these um, to work. Uh, we own a brewery and she, um, I think they're fantastic. When she wears them, people are always saying, can you make me those? Can I have those? And we have men asking. And um, so she's going to try to adapt them for men, but she didn't realize men don't have hips. So she's going to have to figure out how to grade the hip sizes right down to the straight leg. Yeah. But it shouldn't be too difficult, really. It's really a simple pattern. I really liked it. I thought it was really, I had never made these before, so I just kind of was behind the camera the whole time. But I mean, it did not take us an hour from cutout but she had already traced the pattern out. So how long did that take? Uh, not long. I did change a few things. The length, obviously, right. they were yeah. super long. Yeah. So I made them for me, and I am tall, and I like to wear heels too, which doesn't yeah. help. I do not wear heels. So they're super long. Right. Um, but I enjoyed that, and how she tells you how to grade it and make them longer and or shorter, it's nice. Um, it was really helpful because one would think you did it at the hem and you don't, and you don't do it at the knee either. So, yeah. and that's on all patterns too. Don't just try to lengthen it by the length of yeah. the, it has to become in the middle where your waist is. It would be lengthened on anything. So just don't think you can just add on three inches. It might work, but usually it will throw the pattern off completely. Totally, yeah. If I were to change anything, um, we don't use, I didn't use elastic because I, and pretty larger and I think the elastic just kind of holds it in a little too tight for me but you don't need a lot I was fine you with don't those. need it you don't need elastic um, I totally add pockets because who doesn't yeah. love pockets and I'm it, gonna like they didn't roll either so when no, I had them on yeah. they didn't roll down they didn't I mean I walked the around I jumped they just stayed right I was like amazed really yeah they're really nice it's a terrific pattern and an abundance of sizes so that's really helpful I would like to make them with jean material but I will have to add a zipper and you're going to have to find really stretchy jean material which everybody knows is you know the highest I could find was 7% elastic in it yeah. so she might have to do a little bit of a polyester there because yeah I'm gonna have to research that one. you're gonna have to research that one a lot yeah. but yes it was terrific because you step by step um, instructions and they're all color coded so I mean everything is color coded which is really nice and what I liked was there was only three pattern pieces yep so that's it three pattern pieces and then you know you just have what six six pieces of material and it's not real pattern hungry or material hungry I think this was because she made them so long but I, <laughs> I don't think, it, I mean, if, unless you're super tall, which is fine. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I think Amanda is 5'10". So my daughter's, mm -hmm. my other daughter's 5'10". Samantha's 5'8". So it's, you know, I mean, and I'm 5'5". Five five, and that's being generous to me. So, yeah, I mean, I just think that you could really get away with not a lot of material for this. I mean, what, a year and a half maybe? What's it called? Yeah. For? I don't know. Um, yeah, but I did about a yard and a half. Yeah. And I think that would work just fine. But this material was super stretchy. Yes. Um, and it wasn't a two-way stretch or four-way stretch. It was only a two-way stretch, and it was like crazy stretchy. I was like amazed. Mm -hmm. And it had really good recovery. So, um, you know, some when you pull it and you get that little bubble, this did not. You this was yeah. This was really sure. nice recovery. Um, yeah. 
I liked it. I liked it. And for free, yeah. just give it a go. I mean, I don't know if you could make this without stretch. I really... You'd have to put a zipper in. Yeah, you would have to put a zipper in. But you could do it. I mean, it's possible. Yeah. You could put a zipper in the front or buttons and just... It's totally doable. Yeah. And just... Um, super comfy. Super fun. Easy to manipulate. Anything. Um, make longer, shorter, anything like that. Great instructions. Fantastic Yeah, instructions. thank you for making the pattern, Brittany Rena, from uh, yeah. Made for Mermaids 2019. Yeah, so... Mm. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Yeah. yeah I've had a lot fun. of people that have used a lot of her patterns, so I look forward to making some more. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right. Thanks, have, guys. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.